What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the 100 day drawing series. I don't need to introduce myself anymore. I think I've done it enough at this point. In this one, we're going to be coming up with poses from our noggin. Our very brain. Uh, we've been doing gesture like over and over and over. Surely we can come up with some sort of poses, right? It's going to be very hard. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to do maybe like one or two of you guys. And then we'll, again, we'll kind of speed through it. And then at the end, we'll just talk about all the poses and what they're supposed to be. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's let's start one for now. I want one with like a dude hunched over. So I'm going to draw in the line of action first. Uh, I think I'm going to draw them big first and then I'll kind of downscale them after I, I make each one. If we have the chest here... This is going to be a guy. He's going to be like really strong, bulky, and round. So I want to express that in my drawing here. That's his head. That's his nose. He's kind of looking down. Okay. And then what happens is because he's leaning down, he's going to have his hips like over here somewhere. Again, show the lean. And then his legs, what do I want to do with his legs? Let's see. Uh, what do I want to do with his arms? Or should we do legs first? Let's do legs first, I think. So his leg, do I want him standing up and leaning forward? Or do I want him like kneeled down? I think I want him to be... Hmm. Let me think for a second. Okay, I have an idea. I want this arm right here this one to be touching the ground this one to be going off to the side uh and we'll make it go like this and then this leg will go we'll make it go to the side and down and this leg will be behind kind of like this so let's try build that in. So first we start with the, the legs. I'm going to start with this leg first. And a bulk in. Which way the feet are facing as well. Because that is important. The feet are going to be facing this way. So we do this. And you know, like that. like this leg muscle I mean and then this leg is going behind so you want to is it forward is it going forward no it's going behind so the leg I don't know if <laughs> this leg already looks wrong in perspective so let's get rid of that We really have to think about this because I don't want to rush it. I feel like this foot is just completely badly drawn. Same with this one. Let's try that again. So I've really stretched out the um where the knee is here. Let's get rid of that. Need to fix this leg and make it proportionate. So I don't know if I can do this with the foot. It doesn't really add up. I think with the feet, we have to go out there somewhere. So I'm gonna move this pose over. And I like that. To the side, really exaggerate the length of the leg. And then with this one, because it's going behind, I can kind of do a little bit something like 
this. Um, it's not really facing you though if it's going behind. It's kind of going like that. Uh, so we really need to show that for shortening. Which in this case would be like this. Yeah, like that. Because it gets really small the further it is you get away, right? It's like still gonna be big. Um, this is the horizon line or the floor line. I always like to mark out where the floor is. Okay, so the chest, the main chest area is facing like this. Which makes it easier to map out the arms. This is where the shoulder would be. This is... He's going to be really strong, so the muscles are going to be huge. This is where the back of his bicep would be. Um, then the hand would be something like right there. And then again, I try to make it flow. Uh, draw a diamond for the hand because the knuckle line will be like that. Okay, then we draw the hand that goes down. So I'll start from the hand itself. Be down here. Then we do the shoulder, which would be there. The bicep. Yeah, this arm wouldn't be at feet level. It wouldn't be. So I'm gonna really exaggerate the lengths here. I mean, the floor line would be more like there. Yeah, it would be more like there. It wouldn't be here. I'm just gonna get rid of it. That's the first arm done. And then from that circle, because we don't really want the body to be that rounded. We want this kind of flow that overlaps with the leg. Kind of like this. That can stay. Okay, bicep. Forearm, and then the, the hand would be somewhere. Yeah. And then the thumb would be there. Knuckle line, kind of like that. Thumb would be there. And let's exaggerate where the head is with the nose and the ears. The back, round it off a bit more. And then instead of rounding it, we're gonna do these kind of lines. That's our first pose. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. But hopefully as we do more of them, we can uh, figure out the proportions of stuff a bit better. Because already, I can tell that, for example, this arm right here, it's a lot more weaker looking compared to this. Uh, so I'm actually going to fix this arm a little bit. Because the shoulder is simply too big. And the forearm. Muscle, the bicep, the forearm, like this. And the rib cage. Hmm, let me think. The pelvis is there. The rib cage should be here. 
But since we are foreshortening, it will be pretty big. It'll be pretty, yeah, it'll be, it will just be massive. Okay, so that's our first pose. I mean, it's not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I, I would want to do like more foreshortening here at the hand. Let's do that. Like that. You know, and his eyes are like shadows at this point from this angle. <laughs> Draw a bunch of Batmans. Okay. Yeah, that's our first one. It's not bad. I don't know how realistic the pose is, but it's not bad. So there's our first one. I'm going to move it up into the corner. We're just going to fill them in as we kind of go along, but... Uh, yeah, hopefully my poses aren't too bad. Okay, um, from here, I think I'm just going to speed run because I need to just concentrate and be able to imagine a lot more poses. So let's just go ahead and do it.
Okay, that would be it, actually. Just one full page, eight poses, and honestly, at first glance, not too bad. Not too bad. I was expecting to be a lot worse at this than I actually pulled off. Okay, so let me explain what's going on in each pose. In layer one, we have a guy kneeling on one knee. So... If we fix this, since he's kneeling, you need to show uh, that his leg is stable on the ground. His leg wouldn't really go anywhere else. So it actually does a little bit or something like that. It kind of... Yeah, like that. And then this foot's fine. This foot is basically just sideways. And then he's uh, resting his fist on the ground. Like almost like he's landed from a building or, so or somewhere high up. He landed high from high. This, okay, this one is like, I imagined a, a hot sexy gal leaning against a wall with her leg behind her other leg. And, it, and she's standing on this leg, so it's kind of like, She's doing all that with her feet, uh, which kind of gives us that sense of instability, but at the same time builds up that that likeness, that that sexiness. Okay, I feel like this is okay. This third pose, I feel like I did insane at. This is the most accurate pose out of all of them. It's basically, someone leaning back. And I showed it with all these lines here. Leaning back with their arms out. Out far and wide. With one leg in the background. This leg in the foreground. And this leg kind of going backwards a little bit. Almost like a ballet pose of some sort. I, d I didn't really know what I was thinking for this pose. But flipping hell. It, it, it worked. It worked. I don't know how it worked. But it friggin worked. Best pose, best pose today, like hands down. I cooked, I cooked with that one. It's because I feel like with this one, I was the most conscious about my proportions. Every single proportion looks pretty good. And my lines are a crap ton more confident in this one. And all the proportions look right. Like all the arms are skinny enough. The forearm isn't too big. Uh, the legs aren't too big. I feel like with all the guy ones, I tend to exaggerate the chest, like, a lot. I end up making a bunch of hulks. Uh, so this one is basically someone praying on their knees. Let me know if you can tell what these poses are, by the way, in the comments. Let me know if I actually got, got them good. So that's someone praying on their knees. You can see their hands kind of, like, boom. Um, and then this one, layer four. This one's like someone throwing a punch forward, so there's foreshortening happening. Uh, which <laughs> I struggled on figuring out how to do it, but I got it in the end. I think. I got it pretty well in the end. He's got his other arm like kind of guarding. One leg in the background, one leg in the foreground. And then yeah, that's, that's like a heavy punch being thrown like this. Um, at you. Which, I got pretty close. I can't lie, I got pretty close. And then let's see here, that's, that was layer, what, layer four? This one's also one of my proudest ones. This is like a Spider-Man pose where he's got his legs up, crossed over. You can see he's bending his legs, you can see the underside of his feet. It's a really cool pose that I'm really happy with. I, I can't believe I cooked with that from my head. This is from my head. I didn't use any reference today or anything like that. This is all from my noggin. So I, I'm really proud of this. I'm really proud of it. The next one's kind of like a massive colossal doodad. Just holding his arm like this. Standing really proud with his dominant foot in front. Just really menacing looking. Yeah, if we give him a little Batman head. 
There you go. Is, is Batman if he was bulky. And then the final one I struggled with the most. I really want to get poses like this down because they're very dynamic. It's basically like a samurai spinning his chest and using the arm he has in front to grab hold of the sword like he's ready to pull it out kind of thing. Uh, and he's like crouched. And it, it, this pose is just hella, hella, hella dynamic. But I feel like the more I learn gestures of like photos of poses now that we want to draw. So next time when we draw gestures, I'm going to find poses that I actually want to draw. And then after we do that for a while, I can actually finally decide to learn all the features of the face and stuff like that and actually start making my own stuff. So I can't, I really can't wait to do all that. But yeah, all in all, surprising, very surprising. After doing all that gesture practice, it actually paid off. I thought I wouldn't be able to come up with all these poses at all, but here we are. It actually works. So that proves to you that that gesture practice is really important. But yeah, as always, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. But apart from that, I'll see all of you wonderful people in the next video. Peace out.